I have tried to say as much as I can that if they're involved in education, that's fine. If they're involved in uplift, that's fine. But broaden. Uh, don't concentrate on a particular field. Uh, don't forget that art, literature, and uh, a, what, what I would call a global knowledge is necessary. That we really live in one world. Learn to speak several languages. Uh, be fluent, particularly in the mother tongue. I had a professor here at Virginia Union who used to tell me, next to uh, the mother tongue, a mastery of the mother tongue, mathematics is so important because it teaches you oh, addition and subtraction and where you need to go and what you need to cut loose. And I don't think that we've understood that. I don't think our young people have gotten to the point that they see that they need to be fluent in knowledge and to understand <laughs> that knowledge is the key. That's why education is the key. <laughs> it gives you the knowledge that you need. And they're in a position to do it. I'm so proud of my oldest daughter who is 45 years old, who has said this fall, Dad, I'm going to go to, uh, uh, she's getting a master's in uh, Latin American culture at Tulane University. Oh, fantastic. And uh, she's fluent in French and Spanish already. She said, now I'm studying Portugal, uh, Portuguese because, and she's an artist, as you know. And she yes. said, but I really want to expand. And I, I would encourage more young people to never stop learning, never to believe they've got it all, and never to believe that there's an age in which they feel that they have reached that point where they don't need to learn more. Um, more fluent, global world, understand more cultures, understand more people, and travel 